Hello crafty friends, Amanda here with day 14 of the 30 days of sketches, round 9 for Christie's Beautiful Life. Our sketch today is created by the talented Jessica Michaels. So I was a little intimidated by mixed media stuff. I'm going to be upfront about that because doing my heritage album photos that I'm working on, I was really afraid that the mixed media would be too... I don't know, bold, too interesting maybe is a better word, and would compete with the photos. So I found this real life, um, R-E-E-L, like, um, yeah, a fishing reel, or as you saw, like the viewfinder, and it had the hexagon shape in it. So to honor the sketch, I am planning on stamping some of the hexagon shapes. And again, I'm I'm I've done mixed media before, but I haven't done it with a heritage album. So I'm I think I'm trying to fill in and do things and not do the mixed media until the very last minute or work up my courage to get there. So I'm just dry fitting some flowers to see how those are gonna look. I marked where my photos are on the page so that when I do get to the mixed media, I kind of know where you know to put it. And here I'm looking at it again and how am I gonna do this and okay so I cut out a bunch of me just moving the stamp around the top of the page and okay I can avoid it a little longer I'm gonna look for a title so I grabbed the old picture of my life cards that I had gotten out in the very beginning when I pulled these photos from my mom if you if this is your first day coming into me in this series I am I pulled a packet of photos from my mom from the 50s and 60s so when she was a teenager and young adult and I am scrapping with those. I have several hundreds of photos from my mom that I received after my granddad died and so I just thought what a better thing to do than to go ahead and put them in the albums and some of them have had information written on the back some of them have not but record as much as I can and in fact um, the video that I did on Sunday, so yesterday, um, I told the story about my parents and getting married, but I realized I didn't incorporate it into the layout. So I will be going back and doing some hidden journaling under the flip flap that talks exactly about the story of my parents and their wedding and marriage. So I decided to cut off the life is an adventure part of that picture my life card and I thought it, the colors just work really well with the tone of these photos again I'm marking the edges and avoiding getting my stamp wet yet <laughs> I don't know if any of you have that issue but I know I was just kind of taking deep breaths and okay it's just paper you have another one just like it if it doesn't turn out it'll be okay so we're gonna I'm just I'm trying to visually talk myself into doing this. So I grabbed the charcoal ink from Close to My Heart, and I am a Close to My Heart maker, so most of the stuff that I use is Close to My Heart, just FYI. So here we go. And it's down. All right. And I wish that I would have thought about second generation after the very first stamp, but I didn't. But here, after I do this one, I'm like, oh, second generation, make some light images. So then you're just going to see that I am trying to stagger the hexagon or the honeycomb on this page and I don't want it to be too matchy matchy and I'm I'm kind of not stepping back to look at it now that I'm watching it again as I do the voiceover I'm seeing oh you have light dark light dark light dark and it's like oh we need to do something about that but thankfully here before I call it quits with this hexagon um, or honeycomb stamp I do kind of turn things around and add some dark and mix things up and um, I'm starting to begin to see the start of something I'm not sure exactly where it's gonna go but what do we have to lose again it's just paper I had to keep telling myself that so now with a deep breath I'm pulling out the distress oxides and the color is stormy sky 
So I'm grabbing from, again, close to my heart stamp set, these blobs that are called perfectly imperfect patterns. And so I'm taking the most solid one that's on there and inking it up and just smooshing it right on the page. And at this point I'm going, hmm, <laughs> where are we going with this? And I'm, I'm not feeling it yet. And then I look at the sketch and I see, oh, there's a bigger section of ink down in that right corner. Why don't we fill that in and just see what we can hide? And I, I'm not feeling it at this point. I'm kind of going, hmm, I'm not sure that I did anything good here. So then again, from that perfectly imperfect patterns, I grabbed these splatters. So I knew where the leaves were coming out in the upper right corner of this page. So I thought those would be cool to have behind the leaves. So all right, got this going for me. And then I'm just adding more of these speckles around where the leaves are gonna be at the bottom left and around the edges of the honeycomb and the splatters from the stormy sky. Again, I, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not yet feeling this layout. I talked myself into doing mixed media, so now I'm adding water to it because I want to get some of the um, activation and have it show. And it's not really showing much at this point. When it dries, it does show a little bit, but because I did such a fine aerosol mist of the water, it didn't get those big drops. So now I'm just gonna see what I can do if I put the photos on and, and see where it goes. And it's about here that I'm like, oh, okay, I'm starting to see this. So sometimes I will encourage you to just keep working. I Nothing that I did was permanent in the sense of I didn't attach the photos, I didn't attach any of the leaves. I just kind of was doing some auditioning and I'm really starting to feel it. So now I've glued everything down off camera and I went and grabbed my journaling jots so that I could add these lines to the tag. And I just cut this tag by hand because we are in the process of putting our house on the market and moving across country. So my studio just got packed up mostly today and I did choose to pack up all of my punches. So I just cut this tag from hand. And then I grabbed from the new Info Bloom card making kit that little flower, just I love all the images on that stamp set and thin cut because it has a um, film strip as well as um, a really cool butterfly. So here I'm just sorting through my sequins to pull out the brushed gold ones so that they're not, the bright gold was just too stark. So I'm just doing the brushed gold and I'm doing both the yellow gold and the rose gold just intermingled. Both of the colors are represented in the photographs, so I don't know if you can tell on the screen, but the grass is just this really pale, pale green color. So now you can see the layout. You can see what the shaping of the flowers does, or the leaves do, all the splatters. Here's how you can connect with me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do that. I'm really close to a milestone. And if there's another video here you may be interested in, and I hope you have a very blessed day. Oh, I will not be around for the next couple days, but I will catch up.